Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV. Bit of a Warsaw update and uh, your thoughts about the Euros. So we'll uh, have a look at that. First of all, old Warsaw boy Josh Gordon. He's uh, moved on to Barrow. I think when he turned down a contract at Warsaw, he was hoping for much better things. Um, not belittling Barrow, but I think he had his uh, his heart set higher up the uh, food chain, as it were. We wish Josh well, though. Flash, hope he does okay for him, as long as he doesn't score against us, of course. There's another Josh G that's uh, made a move as well. I did see that Josh Ginnelly had been released from Preston and was hoping that we'd get him. But he signed for Hearts. So that's another one that's not happening. Jack Earing is one that's been touted about. Generally, when the press talk about a player being linked with Warsaw, somebody else comes in and snatches him away. Um, could that happen this time? Or could Jack make his bow for Warsaw next season? If he does, he's classed as a central midfield player. And we're starting to get quite full. In midfield, so uh, is he one that's going to be one for the future? Because he's only 22, or is he going to get a first-team slot? Because I think we've got Josh Labadee. He's going to be in there with Kinsella. And then we've got Sam Perry. And then the more forward-looking Rory Holden, Alsa DB. We've sort of starting to get some players in and around there. And uh, Alfie Bates, he's... Knocking around, but he's sort of falling down the running order. And Joe Willis, of course, he was helping to break into the team a bit more this season. And um, so, but I think we need some more wingers. And there is one winger today that has said goodbye to his fellows at Notts County. NZL Baldwin, 28, 6 foot 1. So he... Uh, Ticks that criteria, okay. Very good winger. Scored eight goals from midfield last season for Notts County. They uh, just failed at the last hurdle to get back into League Two, which was a shame for Notts County. But with him leaving there, we don't know where he's going. He previously played for Crawley. Um, maybe he'll be going back there. But if Walsall could grab him, looking at some of his highlights... He could be a replacement for Wes McDonald, perhaps. Another area that Warsaw need to strengthen, we've got Manny Month has uh, come in at centre-half. The chat is that he needs an experienced guy side him. Another guy that was released, experienced left-back, Stephen Ward. Not this one. Which top is that? When was that a Warsaw away top? That's the, um, the little quiz for you. Right then, now let's talk about the Euros. The Euros are up and running. England ready to face Scotland on Friday. But do England really want to beat Scotland and finish top of the group? Finishing top of the group is likely to get England playing Portugal or Germany in the next round. Do we really want that? I don't know. If um, if we were to finish second in the group, we're likely to be playing Slovakia, Sweden or Spain. That seems like a much better option for us. But... Who's going to win the Euros? Italy, perhaps? I was watching it the other night. Immobile, or Immobile. Um, I thought he was not really going to be the man to fire them all the way. And then he had that goal, didn't he? A superb goal. And uh, that sorted them out against uh, Switzerland, wasn't it? That's Italy. Very solid defence. Very solid defence, but have they got that quality up front? I know Immobile's shot and goal was a, a great effort, but I don't know whether they've got the firepower to win it. 
France, on the other hand, solid at the back. Mbappe, blue me neck. He is a talent and half. He is. He'll win any game for anybody. And then, of course, they've got Pogba, Griezmann. That really is a lot of quality on show. I think they're probably heading the game, I think. Uh, Germany, as I've mentioned, could be England's next opponents if we get through the group, as expected, as uh, leading the group. Have they got enough firepower, Germany? Every time people write off Germany, we remind ourselves that they're a very good tournament side. And um, they've got that habit of getting through. I think if England do play Germany, playing them earlier in the tournament will probably be better for us. But there's still a long way to go. Belgium, Lukaku, have they got enough quality in Belgium? Portugal, Ronaldo. He is a magician. And um, he might be getting on a bit, but he's still got phenomenal quality. And... When games are tight, it's it's that those special players that make the difference. Have England got the special players? Is Harry Kane one who can do that? Is Jack Grealish one who can do that for us? I'm not so sure to be honest. I'd love to be wrong. Um, what do you think? Do you think England have got a chance of winning the Euros? I think going into it, we think if we got through the group, we'd be happy. And uh, if we win the group and we're up against uh, Portugal or Germany, that could be the end, but also could be the catalyst. If we were to beat Portugal or Germany to get into the quarters, that would give us massive confidence. And um, that could, could perhaps take us all the way. But... Um, it's good watching all that football anyway. We've got some really good talent on show. Some excellent um, excellent moves and plays. Particularly the corner play that Wales did at the end of their game. And Gareth Bale slipped along the touchline for, the, for their second goal. That was, uh, that was pretty special. His uh, penalty miss was obviously not. Anyway... We enjoy the Euros. Love to hear your comments, what you think, who you think is going to win. I am uh, sticking with France at the minute, I think. Even though we'd like England to win. But uh, I think for me, it's likely to be France. Right then, thanks for watching. Love to hear your comments. And we've got a video coming up very soon in the next couple of days. Should you get a season ticket... Next season for Warsaw. I know what I'm doing, but we're uh, we're going to discuss the thoughts on that. That's coming up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Press that little bell for notifications and the like button and all that business. And uh, get yourself back down, watch the Euros, and get yourself down Warsaw next season. Thanks for watching.